Evening, everybody. This is the Hawk again. So we had some great news today. I've been up since four in the morning, uh, pushing this uh, report out regarding the five nations. It sent a letter to Ramaphosa <clears throat> regarding uh, corruption and genocide and a few other things. And I can tell you right now, there's a lot of issues in between this. Um, and so let's begin. United States, Germany, England, Netherlands, and Switzerland sent it's unprecedented because it never went through the foreign uh the foreign office to as a as part of a diplomatic pouch to the government to explain what happened they went directly to ramaphosa with a letter signed by all the ambassadors and commissions from these countries they basically told ramaphosa to put an end to the corruption in south africa or the investments which is almost 75% of the country's investments will be cut off, sanctions. Uh, who would stay invest in a country where they're stealing your land? They're stealing your investments and telling you that they need to put their friends or this BE, BE business uh, economical uh, 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 thing into, into power where they can take over the com every single com company in the country and rape it to the point of, of not, there's nothing left. Well, this Sandulia uh, uh, Commission uh, is, is exposing all of this already. Not only that, is is a number of filings that have been sent to different organizations, especially United States uh, uh, um, DOJ uh, Foreign of uh, Fraud Office, regarding all the corruption. It's uh, rampant. He has a problem for Ramaphosa. Mr. Ramaphosa, you remember me? I told you I'm coming. All the stuff I put out there, they're finally listening to us now. And everybody's doing it. Everybody's sticking their finger up somebody's nose and showing them that you are the problem. You have a big problem now, Mr. Ramaphosa, because you're the guy that's the corruptest one of all. How did you come out of jail and suddenly you become a billionaire without stealing people's money? Every single department in your government is corrupt. From the police to the last commission, the mayors, everybody. It's all corrupt. Why? Is because you part of the you the head of the gang. You have a serious problem, Mr. Ramaphosa. Jacob Zuma, they put him back into Parliament. Why? Because he threatened to expose them. So Ramaphosa goes on TV and says, "I'm I am. We can only cleanse ourselves. We're going to cleanse this problem, and we're going to fix it." And he goes to Europe and he says. Oh, I'm so sorry in his soft little voice. There's no crime in South Africa. There's no farm murders. There's no genocide. Mr. Ramaphosa, the five countries that just sent you this letter tells you that they think you're a liar and they do not respect you because if they respected you, they would have sent you diplomatic letters to diplomatic channels. They did not. They came directly to you. And that means that you are nobody. You are nobody. You are nothing. So when you when you have this kind of precedent done, that means the international communities have now taken notice of the farm murders, the genocide, and the corruption of your government. That means that you are out of control. You have no control over your country. 